Welcome back. We're the Red Jackets. He's Dan. I'm Sean. Tonight, we got that, that new new. Why are you doing that? You got to rub the bottle to get the genie out. Mmm, bars down. Origin, <laughs> the origins. Oh, the God. origins. Don't get me out of here. All right, so we got two of the origins. We There's going to uh, be three. Only two are out. The Rye is the one that hasn't been released. The Origins is Bardstown's first whiskey in which it's all their whiskey. They're both six years old. I believe, our, uh, I don't know if they're doing the same with the Rye, but. So the, we have one that is Kentucky Straight 96 proof. Then we have Bottle and Bond, both six years, like Dan said. I think this is a See? weed. Nope. Is one of them not weeded? This one is weeded. Mm, the, okay. the, you were right. I was just. When you pointed to I it, a, I started no, reading it. I'm like, I was uh, wrong. I had them mixed up. So the bottle and bond, is we're looking at uh, 68, 20 wheat and 12 barley. The Oh, so no Ryan at all. No. The the small batch, or I don't know what you want to consider this, the non barrel The white 48, label. The white, I don't know what they're considering anything. Here, pour, pour us. I don't know, I'm holding both of them. Right into your mouth. Uh, we have 60 corn, 36 rye, and four malted barley. So high rye. Okay, I'm just going to pour these two. Um, the Origin Series is Bardstown's first release of their own distillate. I believe that what their plan is, is that all of these will never be younger than six. It's a good good year. I think that's why, the, I think the rise following the same suit. Not so much for poor guesses. That six year. So yeah, what the hell, Bardstown? You guys it. aren't following this? We just set what? it to like six years, five months or that's something. That's not, yeah, like a hyper <laughs> yeah. specific. Six years, three months, Hold 18 on. days, 21 hours. Which one I smell first? Right or left, buddy? Left. Left. So this is going to be the 96 proofer. This is the the 36% rye. High rye. Come to find out, people would say that's a pretty good mash bill. Yeah. Sean and I have a very similar ideology on said mash bill. I like it. <laughs> Ours is just 1% different. A little bit. Um, Ooh, I mean, that no. smells great. And I'm going to be completely honest. Um, normally, the high rye mash bill from MGP it was kind of. It was kind of like why'd you have to see that? The whiskey out of Sean's glass on the floor for me, because I like the twenty-one percent um, from MGP. Yeah, the thirty-six is usually a bit spicier, a little mustier, more bready. Bready. This is um, great. This but is that's usually home. younger thirty-six percent. So usually that four or five years where we see it really bready. Some of the stuff kind of ages out. I said some. One Not of all. our picks some, is six some, years old. Some. some and some. it's thirty-six percent. Some of it. And it's really bready. Some would say we named it bread because it was so bready. All right, that's super fruity. It smells super Tasted fruity. Too. Um, oh, you did try it. I found these. I went out on a hunt the other day. Hunt. Took the old. The old out, what? Took the old. Steve. Out on a hunt. Horse? Yeah. <laughs> Are you the horse? Found both. <laughs> found both of those at a store around here, in a different city. But they were fifty bucks each. I don't know if that's 50, retail. 80. I think that's very think close that's, to retail. Oh, um, you took it off. It was on the the top. Yeah, honestly, it's just got like that fruit cocktail up front. I'm happy with the nose. A little bit of that. everything going on. The here's the thing. I had heard that these were similar to. Okay, you and I aren't the biggest fan of fusion. We like a lot of discos. Yes. And we've liked a lot of finished ones that they've done as well. Absolutely. So that being said, my expectation when I heard these were similar to Fusion profile wise, I was like a little bit less excited because mm -hmm. I know a lot of people like Fusion. Fusion's got some young and old just, whiskey kind of yeah. put together. It's just not always my favorite whiskey. I'm not a huge fan of it. This, which mm. is the the ride the bourbon, the yep. ride bourbon, uh, smells fantastic. For Fifty dollars, ninety-six proof. I could really crush some of this and really, really be happy about it. Oh, it drinks it, like ninety-six proof. Done. It drinks super low. It doesn't drink like ninety-six. It drinks about like eighty-seven or lower. Like nothing. Uh, Back end, I think suffers a little bit from it. It kind of trails off. Yeah, it does manage. This good. smells fantastic. Yeah. The nose on this is great. It is. I will say. Like the finish kind of just goes away, mm -hmm. just fades out, kind of. It's a low proof, so that's gonna happen. It's not super old either. But it smells great, tastes good, man. For real, for 50 bucks, it's fantastic. That is a well-blended product. And I mean, we always talk about that $60 price range. It's really hard to release something into. Nowadays, everything's coming out 70, 80 plus. And this is 50, so it's 50 even lower. Bucks. That's really good. That's like, 100%, I'd buy I that. I think that, again, if that were gone, I'd buy another I almost one. said something. I need to run it past my brain one more time before I say it out loud. Is that as good as Blanton's? Like normal Blanton's? Yeah, that might be like Maybe. the Blanton's killer. I was gonna say, I think that almost replaces like an, 
1920 for me now. Right now? Yeah. Okay, based on the last, last one you and I drank? The last batches we've had of 1920 have just not been our jam. This is 10 bucks cheaper. You don't well, get the same proof. That's why I compared it to Bland's. Yeah. The proof thing is the difference. So we need something that's around there in 96 proof. So. Honestly, if I couldn't find Bland's, I'd buy that. No one can buy find Bland's, so. People can find that. It's not, I don't think it's as sweet as Blanton's. No, but, but it's good though. It is good. It's $50. It's the same thing as Bland's, not, not. Super Man. complex in the finish, but it drinks really, no, really nice. No, because the low proof makes it easy to drink. If this were in a Blanton's bottle, and Blanton's is a single barrel, if this were in a Blanton's bottle, I'd make the argument you could confuse the two just off like, oh, I just got a, I just got a different Blanton's. They're all I, different. I think I if really I had to lean that. towards something, it'd be like a, a Remus almost. Okay. I agree with that too, actually. Great. That's good. I give that an A+. Plus. This one's an A+, plus 100% for me, which is... Yeah. I agree, actually. That's fantastic. For 50 bucks, gonna be pretty available, six year age statement. Um, I think they killed it with yeah. the blending of that. Yes, 100%. Uh, I also, th I think people have said that they've found this for like 45. Which that's is a even, steal. yeah, which is great. This is oh, great whiskey. Shit, man, that's basically. This is a buy like, 100. That's, that's rare breed territory, man. Just for $50. The proof's different, though. I know. The proof's different. That's I should have done these in the other order. Why? Because it smells bready now. And that did. It's weeded. This doesn't have rye in it. Acclimating. It's got funk on it for sure, it does. but it's sweet. It is, does have the, the like third or fourth time that I smelled it. It's definitely got that weeder funk on there. It's twenty percent, so it's got a good amount of wheat in that mash bill. It's still bourbon, right? Yeah, I do believe so. Bottled by Kentucky straight bourbon. Yeah, which Damn. means it's a hundred proof. I almost just asked you a, earlier what proof it was. Just at a hundred from ninety six, I, I feel like the nose has a lot more punch in it. Just a, that uh, ethanol punch, like halfway through, just kind of. Hits yeah, it. this oh, this that wheat for some reason the 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 must of the wheat musk is must a word yes. not in the way in which like I must do something is must a word and well the way I'm like using musty. it musty yeah must is the root of that hundred percent so anyways uh, hey man whatever you want what, however <laughs> we get there this reminds me I will just be completely honest of a Jim Beam product on the nose. Oh, you think in like a rebel? Hey, no, rebels forget. lux. Oh, yeah, you're right. Oh, Shit. okay. I'm less stupid. You're more stupid. Yep, I am. I always dude. A win's a win. Okay, I'm so take lux it. is very nutty too. I agree with you. So the Ezra. What is lux? Beam I'm an idiot, dude. Larcenies, and this is smells better than Larcenies. We don't like this. Well, I, I don't think it smells anything like Larcenies. Larcenies have always been that payday, like really salted caramel sweetness. Yeah. That's I nutty. get like uh um, Rebel's the right comparison. Beam is not. I Rebel get, is. I get that um musty wheat funk and it kind of smells like I don't want to say this badly, but like some dried apple skins. Like oh. they're they're like getting a little funky. You ever had them. an apple chip? Yeah. With the skins on them? I don't know. Is that There's dehydrated is that apple, thing? man? Why don't they keep apples in full apple form and then dehydrate and let you eat it? Because I think it'd be disgusting. Plus, it'd be really hard. If it were, that would so, be like, you couldn't eat it. Yeah, like, that's, that's why true. they're in thin. They're chips. It's easier to dehydrate a small piece than it is all the way through. That's true. And you ruin the outside. But you imagine one bite's just mush. Dude, that's really sweet. I, I go with the Rebel 100%. Yeah. I think it's highly comparable to a Rebel. If you like Rebel picks specifically, oh, a lot of man. Rebel picks I've, I would relate this to. That apple skin really comes through now that I've had a drink yeah. and then come back into it. It's just, it's crisp. I agree with the apple skins. I, I do. I'll go down that road. Maybe I'm, a little bit of clove? I think if you just compare this to our Rebel pick we just did, it's really close. Which doesn't help a lot of people because it's not out. But No. Almost no one, actually. If you like Just it, me and you literally. and Ryan. Yeah. Cool. If you liked, if you like Rebel picks, you could get on board with this. Going in, which one do you think you'd like more? Okay. I think I would have liked that more. Right. Because I, I don't generally did. lean on wheat. Whereas you do, especially in more of a budget style range. Like, yeah, yeah I get that close. I don't think, it, listen, that's not bit. bad. It's just not my jam. It definitely has more of a finish than this one. I oh, think that sticks go, around yeah. and like actually chills. Well, it does. That's a good fall drink right there. It's a little warm, it's inviting. You actually get a little bit of a hug through it. It's a little bit more spice it. in it. I think it's a little bit more complex. I would say that. I really like I just that. just really like that one a lot. I think they're both an A plus for me. I, I'm gonna go B plus on this. Really? A plus on that. You're a cheap wheat hater. Got it. WLW or nothing, eh, baby? <laughs> <laughs> WLW or bust. If you ain't got WLW or Pappy 15, you 
yourself. Okay. No, so, gotta, <laughs> just a no. Thing is, is if we would have done the, I'd be really interested to know, which we'll never know now. If we'd done this and well, I drank this first. I'm like, that's pretty yeah. good out of the bottle. Then I drank this and went, whoa, I love that a mm -hmm. lot. Um, for real, that completely, that competes with some Blanton's for me. Or like you mentioned, some Remus stuff. Um, okay. I mean, okay, I'm gonna go A plus flat A. Okay. I do think this has a little edge on it. I just, just for, like that, Mark. Yeah, it's just so simple. They're profile-based things. If you are in love with Luxco products from a Rebel standpoint specifically, I think you'll genuinely love that. I do. I don't think it's as nutty as Lux. I do. We really. Mm -hmm. I don't think it is because Lux has that little hint of it. Yeah. It's not as much as a beam. We Larson. like Rebel picks. Yeah. We both do. Yeah. Usually there's some like off profile really whatever. Good. I don't know. I I still stand by. I'm a. I stand by it like this. When that's gone, I just pick up another one of those yeah. without a doubt. When this I, this is nice to have around for people to try, but I'm not gonna reach for it all the time. Yeah. I'd reach for this honestly pretty often. That's true. Because, I think that's why I gave this one a little bit more because yeah. I think. Just the likelihood of me grabbing one of these two yeah. is going to be that. You're right. It's great. That Listen, anything that we even talk about Ramus or Blanton's with at $50 is a, oh, it's a something win. we'd always yeah. buy. Yeah. Oh, Check have it. you gone back to it? No, here, throw me a little more. Is it sweeter? It's way sweeter now because we drank that and it's... Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. Hey, great job. though. I, You know what I'm really excited for real quick? Tommy, as talk the, about my... For the Origin Rye, which I think comes out in like... Two months, March, okay. March or something like that. So, expectations were actually low on this. For yeah, I agree. Like, well, I we just heard they were similar to fusions. Yeah, I and mean, we're just not our fusions aren't our favorite. I would buy this over a fusion. It's not even close. Either. Oh, dude, there's a lot of things I'd actually rather have this on my shelf yeah. now than like that fifty to sixty dollar range, yeah. which oh. has now become no man's land. Somehow, no That's man's true. land went shifted down, down because going the from, prices went yeah. Up. 80 to 100 used to be that no man's land. Yeah. And now it's like shifted down and it was like, is. fuck. 40 to 60. It's like, what are you gonna get? Rare breed? Only legacy. Yeah. Only legacy, legacy lives there, that's no it. No one can fucking And the weird it. part is the 80 now is filled by cash grabs, celebrity brands, and um, craft. Startups. Yep, yeah. that's it. How weird. Fuck. That, in theory, the shift would've went the opposite direction. Yeah, because we're pricing all our shit at 100, so. Thousand. 100,000. <laughs> 